Okay, this is the panel I'm going to be converting over to the new Gen Control system from the UK. So this is an old Lister panel. I've looped the power through so that I can work on everything without having anything energized. These are the old contactors. Here are the old control circuitry and various relays. I'm going to be removing all of that. I'm going to be leaving the regulator up there and the battery charger, which is right there. The mains fail relay will also be going. I've already started to cut these out. These are the low oil pressure send, um, switches. Um, the rest of the circuitry will pretty much remain. The rest of the, the cabling and the various meters. But pretty much everything is going to be gutted up from that to be replaced by two little modules. Amazing. Okay, well I've removed quite a bit of the old relays and quite a bit of wiring. So anyway, I'm just seeing what else I might be able to remove. So far it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I guess I Okay, well I'm almost done. I've pretty much done all the wiring that I need to do. The only things left to done is just to put um, positive 24 volts power to each of the modules. I just need to get a couple of inline fuse holders for that. Um, everything else is wired up at the moment. All the wiring is just hanging loose at the moment because I just want to double check and go for everything before I start zip tying everything up. But I've removed all the old extraneous equipment. Still need to put that back plate back on there so I can secure those terminal blocks. So there's another number one of those white back plates. That's it down there with some of the old equipment. That's some of the wiring which has been taken out. And so basically it's going to be a completely um, up-to-date and much simpler ROM installation. So as long as it works, I'm going to be very happy. There's a bunch of the other old stuff which came out. And um, yeah, hopefully it's going to work as advertised. Right, okay, here we go. I'm now running the <coughs> generator at the moment. Um, this voltmeter is strictly for the generator, so you can see we have three phase on all phases, and plus we have 220. Um, <clears throat> not sure why mains LED light is on as well as a generator, but you can see that the load <coughs> side of the generator is on. <coughs> Don't actually have any lights showing on the automatic startup and shutdown unit. Um, apparently, beyond load LED is a uh, an optional extra which I didn't bother to go for as it's not necessary but the only time any of those lights come on are actually if there is an error so for start fail engine stop low oil that sort of stuff one of those lights will come on <coughs> at the moment it's on auto that's my disconnect main switch at the moment which is off and let me just open this up <coughs> we can see that the mains contactor which is that lower one is closed, I'm not sure if you can sort of see that, uh, but that's the generator contactor which is open. This is the completed installation and the wiring. Uh, put the back panel back. So everything is basically done there now. And let's just see what happens now when I throw the mains back on. So let's put that up. <coughs> Okay, so now we see the mains light flashing to show that there is power. Obviously, it's checking to make sure that it's analyzing and that this voltage is stable. <coughs> I have given it, I think, a, well, there's a 20 second delay built in. Okay, there goes the generator. We're now back on to mains. The generator should continue to run for 40 more seconds as a cool down period. So, looking good. At the moment now the 
mains contactor is now closed as we can see and the generator contactor is open so I call that um, a success excellent I'm not sure we need to wait 40 seconds for this to count down but I guess we'll know in a moment that's a generator power is still available there we just put it across a couple of phases so this should shut down in a few seconds there it goes so the voltage is gone generator light is still on and there it's okay I think um, that's a good result okay all right I just um, simulated a low oil pressure fail by shorting out terminals number three which is the white and yellow to ground which is the blue yellow and by doing so it immediately turned the engine off fantastic